So this is the little run, the little fill-in melodies that um, that comes after the first chorus. So what I'm doing is um, do this again. That same little riff. Now I'm going to go up high and do a little melody up here. Fill it in with some little op with some open fifths on the B flat and G. Little fills up on the top. Do that run again. Nice little chord here, E flat, A flat, C. Okay, so you know, it might be a little complicated, but um, that's why it's kind of hard to teach this part of it because I play it totally different, probably, from what you hear in the CD. Well, you hear these little melodies, but Daniel might not play it himself this way. I'm not really sure. So, here it goes. Now you don't need to do this stuff if you don't want to, but it kind of needs something to fill it in. So, um, as long as you get back here, okay. So this basically happens twice: the E flat, F G, A flat happens again, and then a little melody. Okay. So I might look like I'm playing this kind of awkward, but my hand is actually in between these tripod legs here, so sorry if it looks awkward. It feels awkward. So I'll try this again a little slow. This is what I do. Get what you can out of that. If you have trouble, let me know. I'll try it again a different way. But anyway, moving on to the next part, which I'm back down here doing the You Need a Blue Sky Holiday part. So that's on a lot of the same chords, which is You Need a Blue Sky Holiday. Alright, so you've seen that chord before. That one. That one. Which is is you love, which is you've seen this before. And what they say, you've seen that before. F minor seven again. We all love that one. And I don't need no care and no. The B flat suspended, going to the B flat again. Okay, so that's that same little progression again, going into the chorus again. Then after the chorus comes the bridge, which I guess will have to be part five. So hold out for that one. Bye.